Okay guys, 6-4 solving systems using elimination. This will be the third method. Um, tomorrow you'll get a, a list of, of questions. You can choose any of the methods that you want. We've already gone over graphing. We've gone over substitution. Now elimination. I think, in my opinion, this is the easiest of the three and easiest to understand. So most of you will choose to use this. But again, if you choose graphing or substitution, they will all work. So let's look at this. The word elimination means I want to get rid of something. And I want to get rid of, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the x's or the y's. Now if we think back to fractions, um, when we're finding common denominators, if we multiply the top and bottom uh, by the same thing, it does change the look of the fraction, but it doesn't change the value. Same thing with elimination. Um, I, I think of them like denominators. If I look at the 5x and the 2x, just taking the 5 and 2, what would be the first common number between 5 and 2? So if I count by 5s, 5, 10, 15. I count by 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. The first common number is going to be 10. So I could change both of those into 10s. I look at the 6y and the 3y, and obviously the first number between those two is going to be 6. So I would only have to change the bottom one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the look of the bottom equation by making that 3y into a 6y. So I'm going to multiply the entire bottom equation by 2. Now, here's the little trick. When I multiply by through, by, through by 2, that's going to give me a 6y on the top, a 6y on the bottom. And 6y plus 6y is 12y. That doesn't eliminate anything. But if I could make it 6y minus 6y, that would completely eliminate the y's. The way to do that, instead of multiplying by, through by 2, is to multiply through by negative 2. Okay, so here's what I'm going to have. I'm going to bring down my top equation because it stays the same. I didn't do any changing to it. And then I'm going to distributive property through that negative 2. So that's going to give me negative 4x minus 6y, and you're about to see the magic. And negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. What happens here? is 6y minus 6y cancels, so now we're just dealing with x's. What's 5x minus 4x? And that's going to be x. And what's negative 8 plus 10? And that's going to be 2. So we've already found x. x equals 2. Now, this is just like all of our other problems. Once we found x, all we have to do is plug it back into one of the equations. So let's take the top one. That's going to be 5 times 2 plus 6y equals 8. That gives me 10 plus 6y equals 8. Uh, negative 8, excuse me, those are negative 8s. So then I'm going to subtract 10 from both sides. And I get 6y equals negative 18. 5 by 6, and y equals negative 3, which makes my answer the coordinate to negative 3. Okay? Looks like a lot of work. Actually goes quicker than the other two methods. Um, it works with fractions. It works with whole numbers. Well, like I said before, graphing is not going to work with fractions. So when you get a fraction answer, um, I would suggest that you go to substitution or elimination. Um, you could have changed the, the x's into 10's. It doesn't make any difference. Um, you could have got the same answer. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I want to show you that had you picked the 5 and the 2, that, um, that we would have got the same thing. So let's look at that one. Okay, so we've got the same equation on a new page, and we're going to look at the x's now, and we're going to change both of them into 10's. To do that, I'm going to have to multiply both equations. This is going to be a few more steps, but I just want to show you that it will work. I multiply the top by 5, and the bottom, excuse me, the top by 2, and the bottom by 5. 
one of them needs to be negative that way they'll cancel I'll just make the one on the bottom negative so when I multiply through that's going to give me 10x plus 12y equals 16 on the bottom I'm going to have minus 10x minus 15y equals positive 25 that cancels 12y minus 15y is negative 3y okay 16 <clears throat> excuse me this should be negative 16 well I've done that twice today need to keep up negative 16 plus 25 is going to be positive 9 and when we divide both sides by negative 3 that gives us a y value of negative 3 so if we go back to our original problem our y value was negative 3 and so now we'll take this y value and substitute it back in again it doesn't matter I'll just take the top one 5x plus 6 times negative 3 that's going to give me 5x positive 6 times negative 3 gives me negative 18 add 18 to both sides five x equals ten divide by five and x equals two giving me a final answer of two negative three look familiar it should because I get two negative three one takes a, a couple more steps but again it's it's kinda like adding subtracting fractions there's a couple different ways to find denominators also a couple different ways to do elimination so you'll find the one that's successful for you now we've completed the three methods graphing substitution and elimination so from this point on anytime you see one of these problems you can use whichever method you would like no matter what the directions say pick the one that works best for you and solve we'll see you in the morning